Welcome back to my YouTube channel, where today we will be unboxing the Power Force Helix by Bissell. It looks like it is in a nice vacuum, as you can see from the picture right there. So here's all the sides, it basically has the same stuff. It has like, um, things, I don't know what to call them. Like a special features on the side, on the back actually. And then on the top, it just shows a cool thing. All right, so let's get into it and unbox it. All right, go ahead and cut it open. Nice clean cut right there. And like last time where I forgot to do this, I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh no, sorry if uh, it looks bad because I'm holding it with one of my hands. Alright, here's the other side now. I have to kind of hold it like with my leg a little bit. So, it's a bit of a beat up box. Don't know why. Here. Alright, almost done. There we go. Alright, safety first. So, set down those scissors. All right, now to open this. Hmm, looks like there's instructions right there of all the parts and stuff. Make sure you read those if you uh, don't know or if you like new to vacuums. All right, so looks like we have a part right here. It looks like it'd be good for carpet, like it goes like that or like super tight spaces. So let's go ahead and set that down real quick. Loco, no, that's Seth Little Scissors. That's my dog. His name is Loco. Alright, uh, here's the next piece. Don't know what that'd be for. Have never seen one of those before. So, go ahead, set that down. Watch out, Loco. Alright, now a big tube. Alright. It looks like the tube would be for, like, the, um... Here, let me set this on the ground. For the actual vacuum, as you can see right there, there's the tube. All right, to the next thing. All right, see, looks like that's about it. Here's the instructions. If you haven't assembled a vacuum by yourself before, go ahead and read those. For now, I'm gonna set right next to the box. All right, now take this cardboard thing off. That's what it looks like, kind of like, oh, sorry about that. Looks like a thing you'd put like drinks in from like a restaurant or something, a fast food place. Go ahead and set that next to the manual. All right, now, looks like there's some stuff to per uh, protect the actual vacuum. Let's take this part out though. All right, so, oops, drop it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set the trash over here. All right, so I believe this is for like, yeah, this is the handle for your vacuum. It includes a uh, little bit of screws. Set that down. Check that out later. Alright, so looks like it's just the entire vacuum now. It has a little empty button. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Hmm. Alright, so now, sitting down, I'm going to go ahead and place my foot there. Loco, watch out, bud. Sorry about that. That is a lot easier. Alright, there we go. Now, here's the actual vacuum. It has some cardboard pieces on it. Two of them. And here, let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Some pro uh, stuff to protect it. Go ahead, so that was the other. Sorry, this is like, um, I'm not using a tripod, so you can see how it's like actually unboxing it. Go ahead, take these and put them right on top of those. All right, looks like it came with this piece. Probably to get like super tight spaces, like for example, like right here. All right. Set that down. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. Nope, that's it. 
the rest of the box. Oh, my wall. All right, let's see. Uh, there's like, ah, uh, this is in case you lose. Oh no, to register it. I don't care about that. So go ahead, and set that down. <laughs> my dog's sniffing it right now. All right, so its cord is right here. All right, that is good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to assemble it. All right, it looks like it connects to right here. I don't know if that's correct or not. So go ahead. Looks like it is not. If you look at it, maybe it goes like that. No, nope, it probably goes like this. There's probably some other things I'm missing too. So, real quick, I'm just gonna grab the stand part for this. All right, so go ahead and take these off right now. Right there, I just took it off. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Hmm, looks like it would probably be easiest. Here, I'm gonna turn the thing off. All right, I'll just assemble it a little bit and then come back. All right, I just put the other screw in. Now I'm just gonna put this screw in right now. Oh no, it looks like it's magnetic. So go ahead, grab that. And go ahead, stick it back in. It's a bit hard to get in. It doesn't stay. So the easiest thing to do is if you have a magnetic screwdriver, just put it in. I'll show you. Here. Can't get it in. All right. So you would possibly have trouble with that. So you just want to put it in and screw it in barely. Then from there, go ahead and screw it in fully. It's okay if you put it a bit sideways because it'll slowly adjust itself. So just about there. There we go. Now to put the next part on. So looking at the instructions manual, it looks like we have to put this piece in. I'm at step two, seeing how we just put that in. There is six total steps so far. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in real quick. Hmm, there we go. Slide, slid right in. You have to turn it that way and bang. It should be done, uh, it will be done once you hear that click. All right, to the next step. All right, so step three says to put the power cord on. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You can see it right here, all bundled up. So let's go ahead and there we go. We start from there and we have to put it just around like this and go over and over and over. I will do that real quick and uh, show you guys the aftermath. All right, I just finished it, and it's easiest to start, like, with the cord coming from, like, right here, and then wrap it around. I figured that out, and then once you wrap it all around, there's a little clip thing you can clip that onto. So to the next step now, let's go. For step four, it looks like you just want to put the hose through it. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Sorry about my dogs barking, but that's what they do. There we go. Got through there. And then it will probably want us to put the other end right through there. There we go. And then after that, you want to put the top through there like that. And there you go for that. Step five was just what we had just done where we inserted the thing through. All right, so last thing is to put the extension wand into the thing. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Grab those and go ahead and put them in there. So, go ahead and 
put that and it should go like that if you do it correctly all right then for this you just put it right there and there you go that's your vacuum all done you will have a load of a little bit of trash like this and this and the rest of the trash so you should go ahead and pick it up and put it where all of your trash is There are two buttons on the back of it, one blue and one red. The red one turns it on and the blue one t uh, has it fall back. So, this is what the blue one does. It like has the thing fall back. And then the red one turns it on. So, I'm going to show you a demonstration of this. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. And this back. All right, so in all, I recommend this vacuum, it's very good. The only problem I have is there's no retractable thing and you have to wrap it around yourself. And the next problem I have is right there, hair may get tangled up, I don't know. But four out of five, the two reasons I just uh, gave are the reasons I gave it four out of five. So if you're looking for a good, cheap vacuum, then you should take this. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like it, and please consider subscribing. Bye!